Did you know that more money is traded in the forex market every day than all the world's stock exchanges combined? But the question is, is that the right place for your money? Today, we'll compare forex trading to its stock market cousin, index trading, to see which one is better. To achieve this, I'll start by breaking down the fundamentals of both forex and indices trading. We will then delve into the key differences between the two, assess the risks involved, and discuss which market might be easier to understand and jump into. I will encourage you to stick around to the end of the video where I will share my personal preference and the reasons behind it. And in the comments below, let me know which market interests you more and why. Well, to kick things off, let's break down the fundamentals of forex trading and indices trading. Ready? Let's get started. So what is forex trading? Forex trading or foreign exchange trading is essentially the global marketplace where various world currencies are bought and sold. It's the largest and most liquid financial market globally, with an average daily trading volume exceeding trillions of dollars. If you are still confused, here is the fundamental concept. In forex trading, you are dealing with currency pairs. Each pair consists of two currencies and the exchange rate represents the value of one currency in terms of the other. For instance, in the Euro-USD pair, the first currency, Euro, is known as the base currency and the second currency, USD, is the quote currency. If the Euro stroke USD rate is 1.20, it means that 1 Euro is equal to $1.20. Traders aim to profit by speculating on the direction in which these currency pairs will move. You can either go long, which is to buy, if you expect the base currency to strengthen against the quote currency, or you can go short, which is to sell, if you anticipate the opposite. This dynamic market is influenced by various factors, including economic indicators, geopolitical events, and market sentiment. The forex market world is fascinating, and understanding the fundamentals is crucial before you dive into it. Now that we have scratched the surface of forex trading, let's move on to explore the basics of indices trading. You see, while forex trading focuses on currency pairs, indices trading takes a different route by offering exposure to a broader market. In simple terms, an index in financial context is like a snapshot of a specific segment of the market. It represents the performance of a group of stocks that share common characteristics, be it from a specific industry, region or other criteria. One prominent example of a traded index is the S&P 500. The S&P 500 or Standard & Poor's 500 is a stock market index that measures the performance of 500 of the largest publicly traded companies in the United States. These companies are chosen for their market capitalization, liquidity, and industry representation. The S&P 500 provides investors and traders with a comprehensive view of the overall health and performance of the US stock market. Its diverse composition across various sectors, including technology, healthcare, finance, and more, makes it a widely followed benchmark. When you hear about the S&P 500 reaching a new high or experiencing a dip, it reflects the aggregate performance of these 500 major companies. Investors often use the S&P 500 as a way you know, for the overall market direction and as a basis for various investment strategies. Other examples of well-known indices include the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is the DJIE, which consists of 30 large publicly traded companies in the US, and the FTSE 100, representing the 100 largest companies listed on the London Stock Exchange. Each index provides a snapshot of the performance of the companies it includes, allowing investors to track and analyze market trends. I believe that with the explanation of forex trading and indices trading, you have understood the major differences between the two. The next crucial question is, what are the potential risks involved in trading both forex and indices? After all, 
low investment comes without risk and it is essential to be aware of them before jumping into the one that we prefer. You see, the forex market is notoriously volatile, meaning currency prices can fluctuate rapidly and unexpectedly. This can lead to significant losses if you are not properly managing your positions. Another problem with forex trading is leverage. Leverage allows traders to control a larger position than their capital allows, potentially increasing both profits and losses. While leverage can be used to maximize gains, it can also magnify losses significantly, leading to a wiped out trading account. Finally, a major risk involved with trading the forex market is economic and political events. You see, global economic and political events can significantly impact currency prices. You could just wake up one morning and unexpected news or policy changes can trigger sudden market movements leading to losses if you are not adequately prepared. Moving over to the risk involved with trading indices. The first risk you would likely face trading indices is market volatility. While generally less volatile than forex, the stock market can still experience significant swings leading to potential losses if not managed properly. Another problem with trading indices is that the performance of an index is tied to the companies it includes. So if a major company within the index performs poorly, it can drag down the overall index value and impact your investment. Finally, a risk you could face trading indices would be dividend risk. As changes in a company's dividend policy or overall profitability can impact the index performance and your returns. Now that we have explored the potential risk associated with index trading, perhaps you are wondering which market, forex or indices might be easier for beginners to understand and navigate. Well, to answer this question, we will have to compare their complexity and accessibility. Starting with Forex, the dynamics can be both exciting and challenging. The market's fast-paced nature and tax of trying to understand how currency pairs work can seem very daunting to beginners, included with the fact that it is essential to understand factors like pips, spreads and leverage. The decentralized nature of Forex, lacking a central exchange, adds an extra layer of complexity. However, the unique thing about Forex is that the abundance of educational resources and demo accounts can help you as a newcomer. Moving over to index trading. Indices trading for beginners is quite different in terms of how easy it is. While the concept of indices representing a basket of stock may seem more straightforward, it comes with its own set of challenges as evaluating the performance of individual companies within an index requires in-depth research and factors like dividend risks and concentration risk add more hurdles to the decision-making process. Overall, both forex and indices trading have their complexities and accessibility can vary based on individual preferences. Forex demands a deep understanding of currency markets while indices require research into individual companies. Now, if I was to choose between the two, I would say that while both markets require dedication and learning, indices might offer a gentler learning curve for beginners due to diversification as it is less influenced by individual company performance compared to forex single currencies and you have simpler analysis as indices has more broader market focus and potentially less complex technical analysis when compared to forex and finally accessibility as there are more readily available investment options and quality educational resources than forex where there are lots of dragons and fake gurus trying to sell you one course or the other. If you enjoyed this video, then you would enjoy my other video where I explained indices trading for beginners. By the way, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's totally free of charge. And see you on the next one. Deal. No one is born a trader. Be reborn a trader. Trade smarter. Advantage.